So, sir, I saw you at Telluride. Yes. And there was a, a little Fox searchlight, little after party thing, and I think I annoyed you. I asked you about the role, and I asked you. I know your face. I was like, this guy annoyed me. Yes, he annoyed you. <laughs> I know you were, because I, I, I approached it wrong. I was asking you about what it was like to play a character that many people will consider so evil. And you were, and I know as an actor, you must not think that. And Sarah mentioned to me as well, like, you can't think of your character that way. But how did you come to him? How did you like justify how he thought of the world this way when you played him? It was probably the word evil. It's just, it's nothing, yeah. there's nothing much, it's not like, oh, don't, like, I can't sort of approach a character. I just don't understand the word. Mm. So I, I don't know what information to take from that word to find a person, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, so trying to deal with Epps was basically the in was um, the, his love affair with uh, Patsy. Well, mm. his, you know, his love for her which he's, you know, totally confused by. I mean, that's not even the right word. He's sort of eaten up by it because he doesn't have the intellect to deal with it, like Shaw. Mm. Shaw is living the life that he would like to live. But he doesn't have the intellect and the equipment to, to process this emotion that he has for this, this girl. And, uh, and so he sets about um, destroying her and trying to destroy that feeling and emotion he has for her. But of course, love doesn't work like that. And, uh, and therefore, it's, uh, he's, 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 uh, he's a very lost soul. And, uh, and so I always sort of approached him that way. And that way, I could kind of have s sympathy for him in a way. And hopefully, that it would allow the audience to sort of be drawn in to him as well, as opposed to sort of audiences backing away from him. because. It's just like an evil character, you know? Right. And, and that kind of numbs an audience. But if you show, like, human faults and flaws, then the audience might be in some, some way or other sort of engaged by him. Did you want to learn more about him, the actual guy himself? Did you do any research? Was there anything you could find out about him? I didn't do that much, to be honest. There was, there was descriptions in the book which I felt was enough for me. Mm. Um, you know, talking to sort of various people in the area, um, his name is still used, I mean, not widely, but people go, stop acting the Epps, you know, so. Oh, wow. That's how much of a sort of effect he had on the area, and obviously not, not a positive one. Um, and just, just quickly, you know, this is your third film with Steve McQueen, and uh, curious, curious how he came to you and approached you about the role, and do you guys have a shorthand now? Do you feel like he doesn't even have to, like, give complete directions he gives you no, another actor. to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, he ca you know, he sort of said to me uh, after we'd done Shame, he's like, I want to make this film about slavery. And I was like, oh, of course, you know. You know, that, that makes total sense. And, um, and so then I got a script, whatever, some months later, and I rang him up and I was like, it's a beautiful story. I was like, I want to be involved, whatever it is, you know, if it's just like one or two days on this, um, it needs to be, you know, I just want to be involved. It's, it's in such an important story to tell. And, um, and, they, and he offered me Epps, and that was the part that I was hoping that he would offer me. And, and I was like, yeah, absolutely. When, when do we start? It's New Orleans. And so I went out there five, five weeks earlier and started to do prep. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.